Hey everyone, this is the tutorial on transform physics gears. Transform gears are a little different in that they don't actually operate on physics, but are included to expand your prop movement capabilities. Okay, basically what I'm going to do here is shoot this UFO off into the distance while it's rotating using exclusively transform controls. First, I'll quickly demonstrate the different types of controls available. First, I'll drag in the Rotate A control and quickly select my UFO as the target. You'll notice that I can now rotate my UFO along all three of its axes using the action buttons in the control panel. I can go back into my advanced panel and raise the unit value if I want my rotations to go quicker, as you see here. Okay, let's delete this for now and bring in my Rotate B control. This one is a little different. As you can see, it has a speed slider as well as a play and stop button, similar to motor A. As soon as I touch the speed slider, the rotation will begin and I can adjust it in real time. Now with Rotate B, I can select multiple axes at the same time as well. If I select the Z and Y axes, you'll see that the UFO will now rotate along these axes simultaneously. Let's stick to the Z axis only. You can see that just like with Motor A, if I move the speed slider to a negative value, it will rotate in the other direction. Okay, finally on to Rotate C. I'll again quickly select my UFO as the target and choose the Z axis once again. This control has an operate button so I can actually set my speed before I begin the rotation. What I'm going to try to do with this UFO is rotate it at a slow velocity first and then spin it faster as it accelerates. To do this, I'm going to use Rotate B as this is the control that allows me to adjust the speed in real time. Once I have my connection set up, I'll set an initial speed of 2, then press play. A couple seconds later, I'll bring up the rotation speed to get two different speeds in the same recording. You can see the speed change when I play back. Now what I want to do is move the UFO off into the distance. This time, I'm just going to click and drag my control panel and add in my move control from there. Once I do that, I'll pick the UFO as my target again. When I do, you'll notice that I can move it around with the action buttons, but now that the rotation is gone. This is because a prop can only be the target of a single control at a time. And actually now my previous rotation animation has been replaced with this movement one now. So what I'll have to do is again go into the advanced panel of my rotate control and select the UFO once again and repeat my previous animation. What I need to do to get both controls working on the same object is to use a dummy prop, which is why I'm importing in this sphere here. I'll position it above my UFO first and then proceed to choose it as the target of my move control. Once I do that, I can increase the speed and test out the movement. Keep in mind that the move control will move along the world axis by default. So I've got my sphere moving now, and the easiest way to get it to affect the UFO is simply to select the UFO itself and attach it to the sphere. Now I want my UFO to start moving as soon as the rotation changes gears. So what I'll do first is tap on the move button to begin the playback. And then when I see my UFO begin to spin faster, I'll hit the move button. So the sphere will begin to move up its Y axis and the UFO will follow it. If I open up the UFO track in the timeline, you'll see the rotation clip there created by my rotate control. When I select the sphere's track, you'll see that it also has a single clip from the movement control as well. Just like any other motion clip, these can be manipulated and split up. Since my original movement was a little slow for a UFO flying away, what I'll want to do here is actually find the part of my movement clip where my UFO begins its movement, and right click the track to break it. First, I need to remember to actually take out the transition area by clicking and dragging, because essentially my rotation is already perfect and doesn't need any transitional area. I'll play back quickly just to make sure everything's okay. And the next step I want to take is to actually shorten the length of my second clip in order to speed up the movement. What I'll end up with in the end is something like this.
you can see that it didn't really go all the way off into the distance, so what I can do to adjust this is actually delete the second clip. And then go to the frame where I want my movement to begin. And then just press my movement button again. This time going until I can barely see my UFO off in the distance. For more effect, I can also change the size of the UFO as it goes off into the distance. You'll see that the clip is a lot longer this time, but I can still shorten it significantly. I'll play back and the results will look a little something like this. However, there is one more thing that I want to do, and that's set my sphere as a dummy and make it invisible. To do this, I simply need to select my sphere and set it as a dummy in the Modify panel. Once that's done, I can press Ctrl D to toggle dummy visibility and make it disappear. This will be the final result. The transform controls in the physics gear pack are super useful tools with the sole purpose of saving you tons of animation time. Try them out!